D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And welcome to my week in review where I come to you every week with three entertainment stories that I personally find interesting and then we um, discuss them down below. Also down below, you can find the three articles that I read to bring you this story and you can read them and come up with your own opinion about everything. Anyways, I just wanna say before I get started on this uh, video that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is gonna do their um, annual bot cleanse and old account purge, and there usually is a little bit of collateral damage, not too much, but a little bit. Uh, I don't know why. Um, so I please ask that you uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. So let's get started on these three stories. So for my first story, and this story actually dropped last week, but I wanted to comment on it. <clears throat> Warner Brothers is definitely working on a Static Shock movie. Announced last week Friday, uh, Black Panther star Michael B. Jordan is set to produce the feature alongside longtime scribe Reginald Hudlin. He said, I'm proud to be building a part of a new universe centered around black superheroes. Our community deserves that. Uh, Jordan also told The Hollywood Reporter, Outlier Society is committed to bringing a life-diverse comic book content across all platforms and we are excited to partner with Reggie and Warner Brothers on this initial step. Now the Hollywood Reporter report seemingly suggests that Static Shock film could be the center of a new cinematic universe produced by Jordan and his Outlier Society banner featuring the titular Static Virgil Hawkins and character debuted and milestone character before the Static Shock series in the early 2000s converted the beloved character into a household name. Now, news of the feature first surfaced during DC Fandom um, in August. Unveiled the feature film was in the works at Warner Brothers, though they didn't elaborate any further. Now, I think this is great. First off, for Michael B. Jordan, because I think Michael B. Jordan is so uh, uh, creative and um, artistic and, and uh, talented. And, uh, you know, he's not only staying in acting, but he's also moving over to producing, which I think is a great step for him. Um, you know, what's the next step for him? Probably directing, and which would be great to see that. And I think Static Shock is such a great uh, character to go forward with as far as he goes. And I think this whole promoting black superheroes is also such a great idea. He's probably going to be in the movie. I don't think he'll play Static Shock. If he does play Static Shock, I'm going to have to say that'd probably be um, a bad idea um, just because he's kind of too old. No, it's not kind of too old. He is too old. Static Shock is a younger character. Michael B. Jordan is an older person. Not, he's not old, but he's older, and it would probably be a bad idea. But he'll probably play some character in there, and I can't wait to see uh, what he does. Um, this will... I kind of um, am a little... Um, I kind of wish he was a little bit hesitant to play a character um, just because I would like to see him play a really, really good character in the DC universe on film and have that connected and everything. But uh, I like Michael B. Jordan, so it'll be fun to see him whatever he plays or whoever he plays. So that's my first story of the day. So for my second story of the week, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has welcomed Sarah uh, Shahi, I think that's how you say her name, to the DC Universe ahead of Black Adam. Now word of her casting in the movie broke earlier this week and fans are excited to see what the person of interest actress is going to bring to the table. Now Aldous Hodge and Noah Contino actually signed on to be a part of The Rock's upcoming feature as well. With the DCEU in a state of change, it feels like Johnson's film is going to be a moment of real change for everything that comes afterward. And according to Deadline, Shahi's casting in the New Line project is a done deal, but the report doesn't confirm the name of her character. The site simply states that Shahi will play a university professor and freedom fighter leading the resistance in Kondak. That said, the news of Shahi's potential casting was reported earlier in the month by the Illuminati, I love that name, who said that the actress was taking on the role of, and I can't say it on here, uh, it's spelled I-S-I-S, -S, um, a well-known DC character. Um, I can't say that because uh, I, this will get uh, flagged and I don't want to get that flagged. And that that makes sense. I mean, this actress, she's very, uh, I hate to say this, she's very small time, uh, kind of like a TV actress, but 
she's very pretty and she looks great and her as you know this character I think would be I have pictures right now up of the character but I think that it would be great to see her as Zari they did Zari on um uh legends of tomorrow uh her character is still on there it's pretty stupid over there but uh and then they, she also had her um own tv show i believe in the 70s and i've watched that show it's not too bad it's a little corny but it's 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 fun and everything so that's my second story of the day so for my third and final story of this week after last appearing in suicide squad and being replaced by joaquin phoenix it looks like jared leto will once again return to play the joker to reprise his role and Zack snyder Justice League for HBO Max. Now, Leto famously played a very different version of the clown prince of crime from what fans were used to. Though the scenes in David Ayer's Suicide Squad were mostly cut out of the final picture, now he'll be playing opposite Ben Affleck's Batman once again, giving fans another opportunity to see what could have been had this duo remained a fixture of Warner Brothers' big screen plans. Now, according to a new report from The Hollywood Reporter, Leto will play Joker in reshoots for Zack Snyder's Justice League. The possibility will tie in Ayer's take on Suicide Squad, which Zack and Deborah Snyder produced and was meant to build off the events in Justice League before both movies were affected by studio interference. Now, the report also states that reshoots are currently taking place with actors Ben Affleck, Amber Heard, and Ray Fisher currently on set. There's no word yet about how long the additional filming will go on, but that there will be extensive production work before the release date in 2000 and 2001. Leto's Joker was referenced in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice with inclusion of Robin's discarded costume spray painted with a taunt from Batman's nemesis. This made it seem like the Joker has already murdered the boy Wonder and the costume serves as a tribute and reminder to Bruce Wayne in the Batcave. Leto debuts as the Joker in Suicide Squad in the opening montage revealing how Joker leaves Harley Quinn to die after being chased by Batman. This ultimately leads to Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn joining Task Force X. The Suicide Squad director David Ayer has made it clear the version he released in theaters is not his own take on the movie, mirroring Snyder's own issues with the theatrical cut of Justice League. Ayer has spoken at length in recent weeks about how much his edit differed from the one that's been in light of day. Now I have to say I am excited about this just because, listen, Jared Leto's Joker is not my favorite Joker that's ever been, but I didn't dislike it. And that's because I don't feel like uh, Jared Leto got a, a, a good opportunity to showcase his work on that movie. It was very cut. We still haven't seen the, um, the scenes where he's wearing the suit and he's got like the hand grenade or whatnot. And that would have been nice to see those, those, uh, that, those scenes. So I am excited to see, I'm excited to see Zack Snyder's, uh, Justice League, uh, the Snyder cut. It's going to be so good. It'll, if it's not good, it'll be better than the Justice League we got, but I, I'm really am excited to see it. So tell me, what do you guys think of these three stories? How do you feel about Michael B. Jordan producing a Static Shock film? And who do you want to play Static Shock? How do you feel about Sarah Shahi joining uh, Dwayne Johnson's The Black Adam? And um, do you think she's going to be uh, Zari as well? Or do you just think she's going to be some plain old professor? And then also, how do you feel about Jared Leto's Joker joining Zack Snyder's Justice League reshoots and going to be in the film? Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If if you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the my next week in review. You guys have a good week. Bye. Hey nerds, if you like this video, go ahead and click that eat what icon and subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and join me every Sunday with my week in review.